Tonight, families are having hard conversations with their kids about things like safety, school and guns. KCRA 3's Brittany Hope is live at Edward Kemble Elementary. And Brittany, you've been there all day talking with parents about Texas and about what was discovered at the school right behind you. Yeah, that's right, Andre. And I mean, many parents are grappling with that question of could it have been my child? Just yesterday, a loaded gun found inside the desk of a second grader here. So combining that with Texas, a lot of parents tonight are telling me they just don't know how to protect their kids. You try to tell somebody, oh, hey, did you hear about that, that shooting that took place? And you're like, oh, which, which shooting? Instead of just, oh, that one that right there. And it's just like, come on, y'all. Our kids out here dying and you can't even imagine that feeling of dropping your kid off and this might be the last time you see them. Thoughts no parent should have to have. Due to him looking at me in my eye and telling me I don't feel safe, that did not sit well with me and I couldn't go on without, you know, throughout the rest of my day without, okay, being, being stapled here so that he'll know that, you know, daddy's here and he'll be okay. We met Noel sitting inside his car in the heat all day, feet from the front doors of Edward Kemble Elementary. He didn't want to show his face on camera, but he wanted viewers to know what's going through his head right now. With the situation on campus here yesterday, and now the shooting in Texas, do you feel like your child is safe at school? Um, honestly, no, no. And I'm contemplating right now at the moment if I should go in and, and take him out. But currently I'm just I'm just waiting right here until about three o'clock when he gets out of school just to be on the safe side. A gun was found inside a second graders desk yesterday at this school. His son is in second grade and could have been feet away from it. Now reflecting on the Texas massacre, we asked Noel what he wants to see change. You need to start banning assault rifles. I'm, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. Banning assault rifles, doing thorough background checks on every single body, run your social media profiles, every single profile that you might have online. Until that happens, he'll stay here taking watch to make sure he sees his son and can embrace him after the school bell rings. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's about that next generation that's coming up, and hopefully they'll be able to live in a better world than we're living in right now. Yeah, that's the hope. And, you know, the answer to that question for so many families was different today. You know, what would need to change for them to feel comfortable, to feel safe bringing their kids here to school? And many of them said different things. But one thing we noticed through these conversations today was that many parents at this point, they just feel uncertain and they feel really, really scared. We're live in Sacramento. Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News.